Yo, what's going on guys? I think today will be my very first ever top five video. And today's top five will end up being top five mistakes that Dragalia players make. Now, I'm currently ranked 102 in a game. So these mistakes are gonna be more beginner mistakes. I was thinking of making a video around mistakes I made in my first 100 levels. If you guys want to look at that video, um, just leave it in a comment and I'll make it. But uh, I was considering making it, but I really wanted to make a video on mistakes that people make because I still get a lot of them, especially on my stream. So do share this video out with people if you have anyone who have made any of these mistakes. Um, so let's go down the list. The very first mistake, and this one is like at the very beginning of the game, after you reroll, Link your Nintendo account. I've heard so many excuses. One of the, my favorite excuses is, oh, I don't live in America. I can't make a Nintendo American account. Um, yes, you can. It does not ask for where you live. It does not check where you live. All you have to do is make a new Nintendo account, click on Nintendo's uh, location, set it to America, and there you go. I've also heard the, I don't have another email. You know it takes like 10 seconds to make an email, right? Go on to Gmail, Hotmail, whatever you gotta do, make a quick email, and boom. Boom, bada, bing. Don't lose your account due to an update on Dragolia Lost because you did not want to link your account. I've seen it happen. Please, for the love of God, link your accounts, guys. Please. Thank you. Now, the second tip. Now, this tip is actually due to the fault of the game, and it's don't use Optimize. Optimize is not the most efficient way to either max out your might on your team or make a good team. Optimize is a very flawed feature at the moment and it does not work as intended. I know at the beginning of the game it shows you that you want to use Optimize, don't. That's the one thing that I wish they would just remove from the game because players get this notion that Optimize is actually the correct way of doing it when it's really not. So you definitely want to do all the assorting yourself. The only thing that Optimize really okay at, I guess, is putting on your units with the highest level. When it comes to dragons, weapons, and skill prints, don't use Optimize, it's not a good feature. Now, hopefully some people learn that. Uh, I know people are still gonna do it, but hopefully please tell people don't use Optimize, especially if you're looking to gain more might to like unlock a new quest, it's not gonna help you. It's actually gonna hurt you. Just do it yourself. All you have to do is just sort everything by their might and then put the highest might on your characters. Now for the third one, put mana into your units. I've seen so many times people running around with zero mana in their units. Now, if you're gonna use a unit, why not put mana into it? If you're not using them, then don't put mana into them. Like if you're gonna take time and use a unit and you're gonna main them on your, on your main character and stuff, put a little bit of, of investment into them. Do know that three stars and four star are a lot, um, have a lot less cost than a five star unit in the game. So this will help immensely when it comes to clearing content, having access to your skills and stuff. Now, if you're not using the unit and you're like trying to uh, like, for example, like the event unit currently going on uh, in kindness and captivity, if you're just leveling their uh, their friendship level, I understand that. But most of the time, what I've noticed, people run around with zero rank units with no mana. At least invest a little bit of mana into them. 10, 20, give, give them some love, give them some love. Now, the fourth tip, or the fourth thing that I see people not use is, this is more pertain to um, gameplay, so, do note that this is more of a gameplay thing and I've noticed players this one is very big use your skills to iframe I can't tell you how many times I've seen people get hit 
and then use a skill right after when it could have just used the skill to dodge the attack uh now some attacks you cannot iframe generally any purple attack in the game you usually cannot iframe there are some exceptions depending on the height of your character's skill for example something like radiant savior where you jump in the air can actually be used to dodge some ground based skills another example currently light onslaught has a little glitch where you can actually dodge the purple attacks if you haven't done it yet there are two ninjas in black that either go horizontally or vertically you can dodge them by using a skill it should not be like that but you can so do take advantage of that like don't get blinded by them when you have a skill up to throw out your skill and dodge it's better to do no damage and avoid taking damage than taking the debuff that is going to come with the with the attack especially something as hefty as blind being able to not hit the boss for a long time is very aggravating and it do leads to a lot of timeout so that's one thing definitely you want to use the skills to iframe it's way more important to iframe attacks than to just throw out your skills for more damage and for the very very last one and this is something that it's actually not all too hard just do your dailies you actually get incentive for doing your dailies every day i know sometimes you may not have the time and that's what your skip tickets are for your skip tickets are for you to unlock your dailies when you're busy you have no time all you have to do is skip the quest and go about your day do do your dailies it's i know it's something that some people slack on but it makes a big difference in your overall long-term grind as dailies are going to give you the best drop consistently. Do note that sometimes doing a lower tier daily may be better than doing a higher tier daily depending on the quest. For example, if you're doing Onslaught and you need the silver medal, it's actually better to do expert for your dailies than it is to do master so do know what difficulty you are needing and what item drop you're looking for there is a wiki that does show you the uh, drop you get so i recommend using that to help you out do note that some quests like master cannot be skipped so right now currently it's only expert and below so that kind of sucks but generally the master dailies are the ones that are um, actually not that beneficial. Like the dragon master dailies aren't that great either. Though I do recommend doing master as currently expert does not give anything really great. Hopefully this video helps people out and was informative. Uh, if you have any good tips that you, that I did not mention, leave them in the comments. Maybe somebody else can learn from them. But these are five things that I noticed that people make mistakes on a lot and hopefully it was helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.